Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be doing some Hellgates with the new Soul Scythe uh, Hellgate build that I've been running. Uh, a lot of you guys may have already seen something like it, or maybe the exact same thing in Hellgates. Um, it's very hard to, you know, kind of defend against it unless you have a, you know, cleric robe, you have the Merc Helm, and you're going a, or, I mean, cleric robe, Graveguard might even be better than the Merc Helm because this is going to have that many stuns. You're not going to be able to get out of, you know, the stun lock. So basically, uh, the Soul Scythe is going to be a bruiser support, uh, you know, bruiser slash support build. Um, but it's going to do a little bit of damage because I'm going to have the Stalker Jacket on it. I'm going to have the Demon Cape on. Uh, you can see the abilities in the bottom of the screen. The Q actually is an ability that stacks after three stacks. You actually do a stun. Um, the W is a nether stun. So you activate it, you run a little bit faster, and you get that three second stun. The E is a tornado with the Soul Scythe. And the R is a Stalker Jacket. Um, and that's going to do some damage for us. Uh, since we aren't going to do that much damage, I'm going to be running a resist pot as well. Just to stay alive uh, for most of the fights since they will be focusing me. Since I'm running past, you know, right through them all to the back line. Or probably on jumping on the support or DPS depending on what they're running. If we get the inspect off. Uh, and then you get the royal helm that has the D. And that is going to be another stun about 2.75 seconds or so. Uh, and then we have the F which increases my move speed and then increases the CC duration. Uh, we have our first fight coming up here. Um, as we're able to look, kind of look in here, uh, you're going to see that we take a look at what we got first. Um, and then I see that they're running away, so I instantly jump in. If they're running away, they're being, um, you know, they're not very, very confident in themselves. And obviously, you can tell there that there's a reason. They were running 4-1 gear, so this is probably, you know, they're probably new to the Hellgates. Uh, so I took advantage of it, ran straight at the guy, and his teammate left him, which is never a good... Never a good sign for you and your teammate. You're not going to win many games uh, or Hellgates uh, running solo like that. So uh, what I wanted to talk about, though, is I, I think I did give you guys the gear pretty much. Um, let's see here. The Hunter Shoes, Stalker Jacket, Demon Cape, Soul Scythe, um, Royal Helm, um, Resist Pot, obviously. And then I go Beef Stew to get, keep that burst damage. So this is going to be a burst build. Uh, you know, a lot of people go double DPS. This is basically double DPS. I do have a lot of damage if I keep my... Demon Cape up and my Stalker Jacket at the same time. If I get those going at the exact same time, I'm going to do a lot of damage. Uh, you could basically pick any damage to go alongside you. I picked this Light Crossbow Man. Uh, I found him in the Hellgate Discord, uh, 24 7 Hellgate Discord, and he was there and I grabbed him real quick. And, you know, this is something I'm probably going to be doing more of, is just grabbing some random guys out of the Hellgate Discord to, you know, try some Hellgates with, uh, try new builds with. Some of you guys will probably, um, unfortunately, have me when I try builds that don't work. But this build is definitely a success, and I hope you guys try this build out. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It can get, you know, countered pretty hard, like I said, based on items that the other guys might be wearing. Um, like maybe a Fear or a Cleric Robe or something like that. Usually it still can work, though. You guys will be able to see that occasionally it still works, even if they have them items that counter me. So uh, I'll let you guys hear the comms now, and... Sit back, relax, and watch the build work some magic. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, just gonna pick that up. Let me look at them actually real quick since they're letting us. Uh, that guy's got Guardian, Cleric. Just pick one of them. Okay, one second. Let me look at the last guy real quick. Okay, we're gonna go for that guy. <laughs> Z Angelo. Okay. Ready? Oh. Nice. I got a stun in a second. Whoa. 
He actually, assassin uh, rolls that pretty well. Just Tom. Wow. Oh, you didn't take all your gear, is that why? It's nothing. No, you can't leave. Yep. Alright, so now that I gave you guys comms of that last uh, little clip, we're going to jump into this clip. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because this one was not as interesting as usual. They come out of the Hellgate and we kind of obliterate them obliterate them immediately as they come through the Hellgate, I mean. Um, and, you know, the stuns are going to be unbelievable. So if they're not ready for it or prepared or they didn't eat their food there, maybe, uh, they're just going to get blown up like that. Uh, but we'll skip through here. I know you guys like to see the loot, so we'll skip through here to the loot uh, in the middle. As we run through, um, you know, he's just running a regular light crossbow build. Uh, and, you know, I'm running Soul Scythe, and it's pretty devastating. I mean, you can run about any damage with this Soul Scythe build. Uh, I would suggest maybe daggers or light crossbow, maybe even a bow. Um, but basically anything with a lot of damage uh, and maybe some sustainability in case uh, things go bad. But, you know, as you can see here, uh, I don't have that much spec in these items these i mean i think i have probably 30 mastery in the items i'm using right now maybe actually i think on the like royal helm the stalker jacket and the uh shoes i think i only have 10 mastery and then the soul scythe um or not the soul scythe but the quarter staffs i have about 35 mastery maybe so you know it's getting you know we got a 7.0 heavy crossbow there about 200k so not a bad drop uh, but, you know, it's it's getting to that point where it just looks so overpowered because I have such bad mastery and it's still doing this much. And, you know, it, it comes down to the Demon Cape, you know, that doesn't require mastery. Uh, the Stalker Jacket, the increase in damage isn't that much based on your mastery or spec. So, you know, it's it's a very devastating build. You want to try to hit double tornadoes like I did there to keep the healer away from the healing. Um, and, you know, it's not even needed half the time. But uh, we're going to slowly take this man out. He's going to you know, heal for a little bit, but, you know, eventually we're going to kill him because I have enough stuns to where he can't really do much if he just tries to stand still and heal like he's trying to do for some reason. Uh, but we're going to have to wait for my tornado to completely cancel him. Uh, but th this build is just, I mean, if you guys have a build that's just dominating, uh, let me know in the comments below so I can give it a go and, you know, see if it's truly as dominant as some of these other builds that I found in the past. I know the Great Curse used to be the, you know, the major big deal. Great Curse and Druidic Staff, that used to be uh, my go-to at the very least, uh, but not anymore. This this build has been my go-to for the little bit, or for the past, you know, I don't know, couple weeks, and it's just devastating. So the 6.1 Morning Star is a great drop there. Um, we also got a 6.0 Robe, that was pretty good. Uh, but, you know, we've got some good drops here, and, you know, a lot of free Hellgates, not free Hellgates, but uh, pr pretty good fights, basically, with this build. You you can't mess it up too much i mean as long as you have somebody selected you hit the space bar you're going to get that first auto attack with your w uh, and from there it becomes easy because they're not moving uh, and you really can't mess too much up you got to make sure you obviously land your tornado um, and possibly get a two for one with their tornado uh, but here we had a good fight we actually had these guys running some decent gear so they had a six one uh, grave guard helmet and i believe that was a five two cross i saw that right but we have a good fight here, uh, and that's why we're going to end the video on this fight, because it actually becomes such a good fight. Uh, this guy's going Judicator Shoes as well. Uh, they do get a lot of poke, because we're trying to figure out who we want to go in on here. Uh, I did take the, uh, the comms off because of the fact that they were a little bit messed up. Um, as I run into the back line and decide I'm going for the healer, I get a good amount of damage on the healer, and we chunk him instantly. Right here, it was a great... Um, it was a great grave, grave guard from our crossbow uh, player in the back. And, you know, I used my resist pot hoping we can maybe live this and just trying to get as many stunts as possible to make sure we at least at least go two for or a one for two here. Um, or two for one, I should say. Uh, but we got 67k PvP fame, so it was worth a lot of money. And we actually did end up killing him. 
Uh, but that is where I'm going to end this video today is this Soul Scythe build. I hope you guys try it and I hope you guys like it. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I'll go see you in it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, uh, the comms off because.